All right, guys, it's part two. I'm eating some food. So you hear the noise? I'm eating food, obviously. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it boggles my mind how, how how much Hollywood pays some some people sometimes, man. Because the Hollywood comedies don't do the kind of money my movies do. Like I heard Matt Damon was supposed to do the Avatar over the over the other guy, right? And I heard they offered him a good like six hundred million dollars worth of like worth of worth of uh, worth of the profits, something crazy. I'm like, yeah, that's all your that's like a good chunk of your profits gone. Comes in. Avatar did almost $3 billion. And they were going to give Matt Damon, I heard, like $600 million worth of that. It's crazy, man, how much Hollywood pays these people, man. I would never pay someone that kind of money. That's crazy. I don't know. But that kind of contract is rare. As most, chances are most actors in Hollywood, when they negotiate for the piece of the profits, they make a good, like, $15, $10, 20000000 million in royalties around there on average. In Hollywood, and there's a rare exceptions where some guys can make a fat sign a fat contract, like Peter Jackson. Peter Jackson, I heard James James, um, James Cameron took a good chunk of the profits too for Avatar. And that's why the guy is so rich. James Cameron's worth close to a billion dollars. He's rich, obviously. Are y'all excited for Avatar 2, guys? I'm excited for that movie. Avatar 2, Wakanda Forever. And uh, John Wick 4. No, John Wick 4, I think, is coming up next year. And, uh, and Black Adam. Those are like my four top movies I'm excited for this year. And everything else I don't really care that much about, to be honest. Yeah. So that is my new for Warner Bros. Two point two million dollars for the rights of the Matrix brand. Is there? If Warner Bros. does not want to sell the rights, I'll just make the Great Escape with Keanu Reeves. And, and you're not going to see that amazing story told. But you're you're still going to see the Great Escape story told, right? As you look at an amazing movie for that Great Escape movie, man. Run and run. It's imagine the movie starts off with me and my wife. No, it starts off with this couple in Italy. They're on the run from the organization. The organization kills them. And it transfers to America. You get the credits. And it transfers to me. I'm frustrated. I can't find jobs. And you get this sad theme. Like, company man. Me and Vijay can't find jobs. And then Paul Benny recruits us. And we, we, we go to the company. And we sign that contract with Ben Affleck. We sign a deal with the devil. He offers us wealth and all success. And these secret agents, obviously. You also do the, I'm also going to do the same thing for John Z. B. Larson and all them and then and, 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 and the company. They signed that contract. They found this dirty and they all the, those couples die except for me and BGB escaped the company while they're over kicking ass. Amazing fucking movie. But is it as good as the Matrix movie? No, it's not. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. And John Z. and Brie Larson are only going to be in a good like hour and 20 minutes of that movie, man. You don't meet them until I. You, you don't see my Johnson's and all them until like, like 35, 40 minutes into the movie. When we're on the plane heading to Italy, that's when we meet the couples, and once we train a company, that's when you get a lot of scenes of Johnson's and all them. And we work, they, we all work in a company, and they, they, they get suspicious of the company, and all they all get getting, getting killed except for me and BJ. But like I told you, for the Grey Escape, it's a one and done, man. So Johnson's and and Bill Larson are in that Grey Escape movie. After the movie's done, and I kill them off of the movie, obviously, for a good like hour and 20 minutes of the movie, the, the journey ends. And I'm going to move on to the great, to the very unique. That's why they'd rather, yeah, I even make that major show, which I want to be safe for like nine, ten years of my life. Yeah. If I do the major shows, they're going to be safe for like, for like ten years of her life, man. A decade, man. That's nice. Nice perk, man.
or for the great escape, it's only like two and a half years since the journey is over. One and done. They do the movie. They, 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 I kill them off in the movie, and they, they experience the wreck hard with me and the fame. And I move on to the to their unique. They're all going to beg, I oh, please, and I bring you their unique. I'm like, no, you're not good for their unique. Being saved is such an amazing feeling that even after, even me saving them for 10 years, after the 10 years, they're still going to beg. They're going to beg, oh, Ivan, can I be in your, your Spider Man trilogy? I'm like, no, guys. I saved you for 10 years. I said, oh, Ivan, man, I don't want to go to Hollywood, man. I don't, they're, they're not going to want to go to Hollywood. Oh, Ivan, I don't want to go to Hollywood, man. I want to just work for you for the rest of my life. I don't want to go back to fucking Hollywood. I can't stand Hollywood. <laughs> Hollywood's nothing like your company, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. I don't even try. Especially guys like Michael B. Jordan and John Zancy and B. Larson and all them. After the 10 years are up, you're going to see them begging. Because they were used to being saved for 10 years of their life. And so they're so used to that. Hence why they're going to really, really beg. Some of them might even cry. Oh, Ivan, please, man. I don't want to go to Hollywood, man. You know what I'm saying? Hollywood will throw them a lot of offers. Oh, Ivan, I just want to work for you. I don't want to work in fucking Hollywood, man. I can't stand Hollywood. Hollywood's nothing like your company, Ivan. Yeah. My grant was a property. Flow on my 100, like 30 minute jet. Pirate on my 300 minute condo, my night sex system in our yacht, unheard technology for Matrix, better than even these Hollywood movies. I am clean, whereas Hollywood is not too clean. It's a little dirty over there, yeah. But being a dirty slave is not the main reason why they'll bank, no. As most people around the world would gladly do it for money. The main reason why they're going to beg all is because. My company is buried in Hollywood and they were saved. They don't want to be left behind. Yeah, I know. Even though even though I want to be successful in Hollywood, will throw me a lot of money, man. My career feels worthless and meaningless. Yes. My career feels worthless and meaningless. Yeah, man. I don't know. Let me start, guys. I'm gonna get my coffee. Don't hate me. I'm gonna get my coffee. Alrighty, sorry for the long wait. I want to just get a coffee. You guys better enjoy this series while I said, man, Because once I'm getting up, please, out of my life, you're not safe. You're going to be left behind. You're not going to be saved. 
you made me pay, you're also going to pay too. So if I end up doing the Matrix trilogy, Michael B. Jordan and all of them will be lucky, obviously, but like after the, th the three movies, the, the journey ends and what? They're going to go back to Hollywood being left behind, obviously. They're going to beg, obviously, because they want to be saved, obviously. They don't want to be left behind, but... What? So, the cons of doing the Great Escape movie is Keanu Reeves and all of them are all one and done. After the movie ends, the, after the two and a half years of the movie, the journey ends, and I'm moving on to the very unique, obviously. Whereas for the Matrix trilogy, all my stars, like Michael B. Jordan, Brie Larson, John Cazenzi, and like Hale Berry, and like the Cisco actor, or Keija Apa, and all them, and Ben Affleck, they're going to be set, they're going to be signing on for like three movies. They're going to be saved for like ten years of their life, man. A decade of their life. Hence why after that decade's over, they're going to really beg Ivan, because they're used to being safe for a long time. They're going to beg Ivan, please. I, I want to work for you for the rest of my life. I'm like, no, guys, I saved you for 10 years. You know what I'm saying? That's good enough. You're going to go back to Hollywood and let me know. You get what you deserve, man. Because none of you guys are innocent. You guys are all part of the plot. You're, none of you guys are and Nobody in, the, in this world is innocent, except for me and BJs. You guys are all wicked people, obviously. You're all wicked people, obviously. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to ask this question. So, you guys are willing to have me prove how wicked and evil you really are by doing this evil to me, VJ. You guys knew, yeah, if we do this to I and VJ, I was going to prove how wicked we are, yes. And you did this evil to me, VJ. And that, that's why I prove how wicked and evil you guys are. You guys are not good people. You're wicked people, obviously. As you did this to two people, all because you're envious of their beauty and their, and their relationship and their nature. Yeah, you're crazy people, man. Yeah, man. So the good thing about the Grey Escape, the only good thing about the Grey Escape movie is that you're going to see Keanu Reeves as a star of the movie, which is fucking cool, obviously. Whereas for Matrix, he will not be the star. He'll, be, he'll have a cameo appearance in the movie, obviously. But there's a tight chance I might do the Grey Escape. I'm not even doing the Matrix, guys. I'm, I'm, I'm speaking hypothetically here. I might do the Grey Escape over the Matrix. You never know. Keanu Reeves already knows. You can see the future. The only good thing about the Great Escape is I don't have I mean we just don't have to make any calls to Warner Bros. We can just make our movie. It's my creative my creative brand. It's my own brand. I can I can easily come up with a story and I hire I hire the right people to tell my story, obviously. So I'm saying. But I want to do that major shows you badly too, though. That's the thing though. Hence why what? Hence why it's gonna be very, very wide. I'm gonna have to have that bait talk. We can't VJ. Do you want to do the Grey Escape and they're unique and him that movie and all his movies, or do you want to do the Matrix? Yeah, Ivan, let's do the Matrix. Yeah, we do the Matrix. And I purchase the rights off one of those then. And I might build a theater chain. You never know. I'm, I, we'll see what happens, obviously. I might perhaps consider building it. Just depends how much money I make off the book, obviously. If I only make like $12, $14 billion off the book, I'm not touching the theater chain. If I make something crazy like $30 billion, I, I might consider building the theater chain. And I'll release Zayas on theaters. For the world to watch, obviously. But chances are, somebody tells me I'm not going to build it. I'm just going to stick to 4K Blu-ray on Amazon or 8K Blu-ray on Amazon. And you guys can get your white. You can get your nice theater system. I don't keep saying this. Stay in your lane, guys. Don't be stupid and get like a $15,000, $10,000 theater system. If you make 50, 60K a year, no. Get a theater system that's within your price range. $2,500, they're $25,000. That way you're not in debt. You're not drowning in debt. So I'm yeah, so the Warren Bros. actually be shot. Holy shit, I'm not trying to from the Matrix franchise. Yes. You're looking at a fantastic collection of assets. They're all salivating over my uh, over my brand idea. Yeah, the three Matrix sequel movies, the three Matrix games, Unreal Engine 5 technology. Yeah, man. Unreal Engine 5 technology, yeah, man, something crazy. Unreal Engine 5 technology, something crazy, man, yeah, man. Unreal Engine 5 technology, yeah, man. Something crazy. Unreal Engine 5 technology, guys. Ivan, what's Unreal Engine 5 technology? Go on YouTube, type in Matrix Awakens. Walk through and you'll see what I mean. That's Unreal Engine 5 technology. So think of a game like that, man. With me, you have me, you have VJ, you have Mike B. Jordan in the game. Yeah, something amazing like that. Yeah, man. I have, who are you thinking of casting? I'm thinking of casting Michael B. Jordan to play the role of the great-grandson of my, Naomi and Morpheus. 
And I'll have Brie Larson casted and John Cusenzi, they can have them be couples or part of the Nebuchadnezzar crew. The Cisco actor in Flash or Keija Apa can have one of those guys be the operator in a Nebuchadnezzar. <laughs> Obviously. And I'm thinking Ben Affleck. Ben Affleck. Uh, Paul Bettany and Ben Affleck in the Matrix movie. And I might have Hell Barry. And you can have Hell Barry be in a relationship with Ben Affleck if you want in the movie. You can do that, obviously. And, and Or I might have Scarlett Johansson. Scarlett Johansson. Or perhaps, yeah, Scarlett Johansson maybe in the movie. Or Angelina Jolie. You can have them. You can have those three actors compete for the job. You can have Angelina Jolie, you know what I'm saying? Hell Barry and, 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 and Scarlett Johansson compete for the job if you want. Have them, have them read. We'll see who's better for the part. Something tells me Hell Barry is really good for the Matrix franchise. Sign on to a big deal, obviously. So the three big A-listers in my movie will be John Cusensi, Ben Affleck, and like one of those women. Hell Barry, Scarlett Johansson, or Angie and Jolie, whatever it is. Those are the three bigger A-listers. And this, the four smaller ones are, are Brie Larson, Paul Bettany, Brie Larson, Paul Bettany, and Michael B. Jordan. Obviously, and I can cast one smaller alias actor. You can, I can have Zendaya be in the movie. You can have her be Michael B. Jordan's girlfriend if you want. See what happens. Zendaya's cheap. Zendaya, I, I can do a $9 million contract for her for the movie. Pay her the same amount of money as Michael if you want. Or you can pay, she, should we, or you can pay her like 7 for the first movie. But she, 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 she's a bit... She's kind of like, and pay her seven or something like that for the role if you want. Well, I'm thinking those actors for the Matrix trilogy. Those will be my my, my, my stars, the stars of my movie. And then you have the actor for Smith. He'll be the star. And then my so-called best friend, he'll be like, uh, I'll have him be a B-list actor in Hollywood. Pay him like 600K for the role, 500K for the role. He'll be a bit a bit minor, a bit, bit major. Pay him like 500K. And then my parents, I can pay them like 350, 400K for the role. The guy who finds me in the dumpster, you pay him a nice like, uh, like fifty k for the role, small small paycheck, 50, 50 45, 40 k really for the role. It's a nice paycheck for him. Those those people who have like, small those speaking roles, pay them a, a couple dozen thousand dollars, thirty forty k around. That's a good paycheck for them. And the agents, the, the three agents, pay those guys like two hundred k for the first movie, two fifty k for the first movie. Second movie you can pay them three fifty. Four, third movie you can pay them like three three. 50, 400K for the Let's get paycheck for a minor role. Nice paycheck. You get a nice car with that money. You go on a vacation with your family. It's enough money to last you for a couple of years. It's a good paycheck, obviously. But don't let them dupe you. I'm there. Yeah. Those, those are the actors who I'm thinking of for the Matrix franchise. For the Matrix franchise, obviously. Those are the actors who I'm thinking of for the Matrix franchise. I'm there. I was just saying, yeah. Those are the actors who I'm thinking of for the Matrix franchise. Holy shit, I mean, I have everything planned out. Yes, I have everything planned out. I know what I'm doing. Those are the actors who I'm thinking of for the Matrix franchise. Is there? Those are the actors who I'm thinking of for the Matrix franchise. Obviously. For Mike B. Jordan, I'll sign him to a nine mil contract. A nine million contract for the first movie, for Matrix Four, and I'll give him zero point zero one percent of the profits, which is for my for the Matrix movie you're looking at I go down on four million dollars in royalties, three point five four million dollars in royalties. Good paycheck for Michael, two fifty k royalty check, the commercial money on a forty rand worth of commercial money, and um, you can give him a nice what he gets his speaking earrings, he gets his two thousand dollar gift card. They serve a hundred guys. That's my deal for Michael. You pay him his millions for the games. If I do the games, right? which I most likely will. You pay him his uh his um his what two million for the first game, two point five million for the second game, and three million for the, for the third. But he doesn't get squat out the royalties. If his agent wants a piece of the royalties of the games, I'm like, look, man, I'm not giving Michael Beach one a piece of profit for the game. He's not worth it. I'm saying two million dollars is a good enough paycheck. Because in Hollywood, he makes that for a salary for a fucking movie. I'm giving him two million dollars for a fucking game. The voice act, he'll be doing voice acting work, and they're gonna have to then the character face model for the game. 
He gets two million bucks. That's a lot of money, man. That's, that's after taxes. It's a good what? I don't know, like 800, 900 grand in his bank with the rates and his agent. Eight hundred grand in his bank after taxes. A lot of money, man. For Michael, it's a good deal. It's a rich paycheck, obviously. And the second movie, I can pay him eleven point five. Give him a nice raise. You give him a zero point zero one percent. Commercial money, two thousand five hundred gas card, two fifty k rolling check, obviously for the merch, and the speaking of your earnings. If I go touring for the movie, if I don't, he does not get a speaking of your earnings. But chances are, chances are after the the, the movie is done, obviously, Mike B. Jordan might get invited to speak individually at places worldwide, and he can make some good money off that. The chances are the Zayn's actors and the Matrix actors or Grayscape actors are going to get invited to uh to speak individually at places too. This is not even movie man. It's a knife movie. They might get invited to speak at places worldwide. And what? Yeah, man. They might get invited to speak at places worldwide, obviously. They can make some good money off that. Honestly, right? And then for the third movie, I'll pay Michael his, uh, like, $12.8, $13 million around there for the third. Give him a nice raise. Pay him his nice $12.8, $12.9, $13 million for the third movie. Twelve point eight is good enough. Pay him $12.8 million for the third movie. And you give him 0.02. After Michael does, by the time Michael does the third movie, he'll be worth close to that $30 million range. Because he made a shitload of money off, off, off the two movies. He made his millions off the two movies in the games, obviously. You, you pay him his 0.02 for the third movie. You sign him to a nice deal like that, which is a good $9 million in royalties around there. $9, 10 $11 million in royalties around there. My $9 million in royalties around there is a nice paycheck for Michael. There, a nice nine million dollars in royalties for Michael. It's a good paycheck for him. So, for the third movie, Michael will sign his like 20 plus million dollar deal. He'll make his 12.8 and he's making another like nine million dollars. He signed like his 21 million dollar deal, 20 million dollar deal. Yeah, and he also gets his money for his speaking fee earnings. If I go on a world tour, yeah, you pay him three million for the, for the Matrix Six game. It's a good deal for Michael. If you want Michael and them to sign exclusive concerts, you got to offer them a bowl of the money. Guys, if you want us locked on for your three movies, you better offer me a lot of money, man. Don't offer me like $1 million. Okay, I'll, I'll, is $9 million and a piece of rolls isn't enough, Michael? I have that's more than enough. And, and the commercial money and, and merch money and, and your and millions for the game, is that enough, Michael? I have that's more than enough. Yeah. His age is like, oh, I have that's a, that's, a, that's a fair deal. Michael doesn't even make his money in Hollywood. Yeah, Michael probably gets like $3 million in Hollywood. Because he's not that, even though he's an ace actor, he's not that big, obviously. He's like, eh, he's kind of like, eh. Chances are he 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 he's gonna negotiate for his three million, four million for his movies in Hollywood. Maybe five if he's lucky. Michael. And I'm paying him nine million for fucking Matrix. He will not make that money in Hollywood. That's the salary of a bigger A's actor. Bigger A's actors even get nine million in Hollywood. Yeah, man. I'm paying Michael like a nine nine million. It's a lot of money. A lot of money for Michael Jones. He's gonna walk away like I don't know, four million dollars in his bank after taxes. I'll buy around there, right? With their agents and the rates, it's about four million dollars in his bank after taxes with agents and the rates. And he's gonna make another like I don't know three point five four million dollars off of royalties, two fifty k for the for the merch money. And if he goes on speaking speaking fee world tour, if he goes he goes on that world tour. He's gonna make like a couple hundred grand. It's, I don't know two hundred one fifty k in speaking earnings. I gave him. He's making his two million off the game. I gave him a good deal. Because Hollywood celebrities are already rich. They have money, but pay them their millions that way. They're not angry, and and, and why? They're well taken care of, for for, for during the for during the, the the ten year the ten year the ten year um the ten year project, right? Yeah. So if you, because guaranteed after Matrix Four, if if I don't do the Matrix trilogy and I do Matrix Four, obviously after Matrix Four, Michael B. Jordan and uh, and all of them are going to get a lot of offers from Hollywood. They're going to throw them a lot over. Hey, Michael, you want to do this movie? We'll pay you $6 million for the movie. Sorry, guys. I'm locked on for Izu. I can't work in Hollywood. Yeah. The only way I'll allow the actors to, to do a movie while to do a movie while I'm working on the Matrix project, obviously, is if they're already locked on before I sign them for the Matrix 4. So let's say if I do let's say if I do Matrix 4 and I fly in all those actors and I sign them, I'm like, yeah, sorry, Ivan, we sign a we sign a contract for one movie. I'm going to have to find a way to, because they signed a contract, I'm going to have to find a way to make it work with Hollywood, obviously. Okay, when you guys filming, we're filming the, the, this year. Okay, why do pre-production, you guys can film your movie. And then, and then once you guys are done filming, you, you, can, you can fly to, to Vancouver and you can work on the Matrix trilogy. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? But after they do the Matrix 4, they're locked, they can't do any movies. They're locked on for my movie only. 
That way they're not distracted and they're focused. You want to get the best acting from these guys. Make Don't have them do a bunch of work and have them be stressed out and tired. No. Lock them on to an exclusive contract. That way they're focused. And if you want to keep them happy, pay them pay the actors a lot of money. Offer them a boatload of money that Hollywood doesn't even pay them. That way they're happy, obviously. And then Brie Larson, I can pay her $10 million for the first movie. Give her 0.02%. She's worth like $25 million now. She'll be worth $30 million by then. Pay her $10 million and give her 0.02% for the first movie. 250k roll to check for the merch, and you get she gets her commercial money for a 2,000 gig part, 300 gas. It's a good paycheck for her. And you pay her like three million for the first game, 3.5 million for the second, four million for the third. Pay her a bit more than Michael, though she's bigger than Michael, right? And the second movie you can pay Bree her like 12.5 million. You know what I'm saying? And you get you give her 0.02, you get like nine million dollars in roll. It's a good paycheck for her. In the third movie, you can sign her to a big deal. Give her like $14 million for the third movie. And you give her 0.03, which is a good like $12, $13 million in royalties. Some sense you get it. He's a free sign a massive contract. Hollywood doesn't even pay. The chances are Bree probably makes a good five, six, seven million dollars for Marvel. And then for the Avengers Secret Wars Phase 5, whatever it is, Bree might Kevin Foggy might offer her maybe $10 million. $12 million for that for the for the for that Secret War Avengers movie. Because I heard they're going to do a Secret Wars Avengers movie for Phase 5, I believe. So, but by then, guaranteed, by then, Brie Larson will most likely be done with Marvel. She'll be in her early 40s. She'll, she'll be done with Marvel by then, guaranteed. Because I, hopefully I don't have... If she, if she is... If she's still with Marvel. There's going to be problems. And she's going to have to... She, 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 I'm going to have to find a way to make her work with Marvel, obviously. With Brie and, and, and Kevin Feige. I have to find, I'm going to have to call Kevin Feige up. Hey, man, I, I, Brie's locked on for my movie... Is she doing it? Is she signed on for any Marvel movies? Yeah, she's signed on. No, she's not, Ivan. You know what I'm saying? She, she's done with Marvel. Yeah, guaranteed in a good 10 years, um, um, Brie Larson will no longer be in Marvel. Guaranteed. She'll be she'll be in her early 40s. She'll be done with Marvel, most likely. So that's my deal for Brie Larson. Obviously. And then John Cezanne, and then. And then Paul Bettany, I'll match his offer with Brie. I'll pay them the same amount of money. Whatever the amount I the, the amount I the amount I gave you for how much I'm willing to pay Brie, I will match that with Paul Bettany's salary. I'll make the same amount of money. And John Cesanti, he's a bigger Acer, he's worth $80 million. Pay him like $60.5 million salary for the first movie. And you can give him a $4.5 million bonus. Sign bonus. Good paycheck for him. You can give him like a $3 million post homing bonus. For the Matrix, and you give him zero point one percent of the profits. It's a good deal for him. Zero point one percent of the profits, obviously. If the movie does this or that, if it does more, you give him zero point zero seven. He'll still make his nice $30, 35, 40 million dollars in royalties. Good paycheck for John. That way you keep him happy, and that way, if when Hollywood throws him like fifteen, twenty million offers, he's, he he won't be angry because he's well taken care of for my movie. I offered him a deal of a lifetime. He's made he made, he made a bowl of money. You know, Ivan gave me a good enough deal. I don't. I don't even need to work in Hollywood. Yeah, whereas if you pay him like five million bucks, he'll be. He'll be. He'll be. He'll, he'll be a bit angry if he signs an exclusive contract, because he knows Hollywood will throw him all these millions of all these million dollar, multi million dollar contracts. These huge contracts. And it's make sure you you throw John Cesanti a big contract for the Matrix trilogy, where you keep him happy. You give him zero one percent of the profits, he'll be happy. He's gonna make his nice like fifty million dollars in royalties. More money than what Hollywood can pay him. That's why I give him a good deal. But don't let him do, if you want to, if his agent asks for 0.2, I'm like, look, man, John Cezanci is not that, he's a bigger ace actor, but he's he's in the lowest rank. He's worth $80 million. I'm not going to pay and give him 0.2. He's not worth it, man. He's not Ben Affleck, you know what I'm saying? And Ben Affleck, I'll pay him the same amount of money I'm willing to pay him for The Great Escape. Pay him like a $48.5 million salary. For the movie, obviously. With salary and bonuses, and you give him 0.1% of profits. If the movie does this or that, so it does a more, lot more, you give him 0.07, you'll still make his 30, 35, 40 million dollars, 45 million dollars in royalties. Good paycheck for Ben Affleck. We really keep him happy. Sign Ben to like a 90 million dollar deal for each of your movies. And you give him 0.1 for the first movie, 0.1 for the second, and the third movie, you can give him 0.2. And if the movie does more, you give him 0.1, you still make his 55, 60 million dollars in royalties. You sign Ben to a big contract that. That way you keep him happy, obviously. Is that her? 
or you keep him happy. And then the Cisco actor, the Hell Barry, I'll sign her to the same contract as pretty much. Hell Barry, I'll sign her to the same contract as Johnson's NC, but I'll pay her a bit more. I can pay her 17 for the first for the first movie. And like maybe 18 for the second. And like 18.9 for the third. With John Cesenzi, I'll pay him 60.5 for the first, 17.2 for the second, and maybe 18, 18.5 for the third. You give him a five more bonus for the second and like a six more bonus for the third, John Cesenzi. Then Hell Barry, I'll pay him her, her her about the same amount of money. Pay her a little bit more, but I'll pay her about the same amount of money as I'm willing to pay John Cesenzi. And Scarlett Johansson, I'll pay her, I'll match her contract with like Ben Affleck's contract pretty much. But Hell Barry's cheaper than Scarlett Johansson. She's not as big as Scarlett Johansson. That's why. I think it's better if I cast her in the because she's cheaper than Scarlett Johansson. Scarlett Johansson is more expensive. Because Hell Barry is only worth like $90 million. Scarlett Johansson is worth like $150 plus million. And Ben Affleck is worth like almost two, like a 170 around there, a million around there. Is what I'm saying? If Ben Affleck is worth 200 plus million in 10 years, I will pay him, I'll give him 0.2% of the profits instead of 0.1% for the Matrix movie. But it's still a conditional deal. If the movie does more, he gets 0 0.1. He'll still make his $55 million. It's still a lot of money for Ben Affleck, obviously. Make sure he's well taken care of. Is what I'm saying? Make sure he's well taken care of. I mean, she's just saying yes. Make sure he's well taken care of, obviously. Sarah. So if you want to keep these Hollywood actors happy and you sign them exclusive contracts, you know, saying that the same goes for the Zayn's actors. The Zayn's actors are signing exclusive contracts too. I'm gonna to tell John Baker, Von guys, you can't work in Hollywood, man. You have your your only. I need you focused. You only work on my movie. That way you're focusing. You're not alive. He's just saying, yeah. And that's why make sure you pay John Baker a lot of money too. Pay John eight point nine million dollars and you give him two fifty k royalty check for the merch. And you give him zero point zero point zero one percent of profit. He's gonna make a nice five point five million dollars. In role, he won't be angry because he's making, he made his millions. He made a lot of money, okay? He made a lot of money. He can do a lot of good things. That, that money is enough to last him for 10, 15, 10, 15 years of his life. Even 20 years of his life. Depends how he blows his money, obviously. If you, got, if you want Avon Jose and all them, and Don Cheadle and all them to be happy, you have to offer them a bowl of money. Considering you and Veed, you're going to make your billions. Pay these actors a lot of money, but don't let them do you. They're not worth a certain amount of money, Sam. Well, you keep all those actors happy, obviously. Especially because, you, yeah, Ivan Hollywood's going to throw me a lot of offers. Okay, fine. Is this enough, guys? Ivan, it's more than enough. You're generous. You gave me a good deal. deal of life. Yeah, I gave you a deal of a lifetime. Shut my cat here. 